Hey everyone, so yes, I have shaved off my beard. I know, I hate it. I hate not having a beard. But anyway, back onto what today's video is about. So it's World AIDS Day was December 1st, and I've made World AIDS Day videos in the past. I've made two, if you haven't caught them, you can check them out up here. And they've been quite somber, um, just because, you know, we have lost 36 million people to HIV and AIDS and it's something that is ongoing and it's so it's a it's a, you know December 1st is can be very sad for a lot of people but this year I'm joining some people that are having so much fun and totally you know to flipping the switch on how we live with HIV so Get ready, because it's going to be fun. Okay, Danny, so can you tell me why you felt it was important to take part in tonight's event? Yeah, there are a few reasons why. Um, and the first one, actually... It's a very, on a very personal level, it was this event three years ago that was my introduction to the queer community and to my own queer identity. I went to the very first HIV blind date put on by ACT UP London, which would have been in October, November 2015. And um, I didn't really understand what I'd seen. It was, it was probably as chaotic as tonight's going to be. <laughs> but, um, but I felt very moved on quite a personal level and, and that, I don't know, something in me seemed to have shifted. And I went to the very next ACT UP meeting and by World AIDS Day, 1st of December 2015, I was stage managing, producing, comparing, doing a lot for, for <laughs> that HIV blind date and had a really brilliant time. And from there, my, um, my activism and my identity have just um, sort of snowballed beautifully and, and here I am today. And it's really, that's sort of my second reason for, for wanting to take part today since um, that very first ACT UP event, um, I came out as queer, I came out as trans and I started transitioning. Um, I'm non-binary and um, I'm taking hormones now. And actually I've, I'm now in a very high risk category of, for, for people who contract HIV and um, a hep C. So I started taking PrEP um, a few months ago, which is a pill that, um, that I take once a day and it just means that um, I, but my, my risk uh, of, of contracting HIV from somebody who's positive um, and uh, still detectable, has a detectable viral load, um, is, is, is gone. So um, I'm sort of here representing that person and that story and also just representing my own person and my yeah. own story. I remember that since, you know, I, I was diagnosed with my boyfriend at the time and since we broke up, I couldn't find courage to approach another relationship. It's, it's always been hard to negotiate things around being positive, taking medication. I always felt it's a burden for other person. I feel like we as a community can realize that love is love. It doesn't matter if you're positive or negative. It's about one person meeting another, finding you know, finding common ground, finding something we have, you know, we love together. And HIV, it's, it's not an issue anymore, you know. It shouldn't be an issue. If you love truly, you can go through everything. So my name is Andrea, I've been you more on. Okay, Andrea, and why is it important for you to be here tonight? Well, uh, many, many different reasons, but the most important one, I suppose, primarily is to do with AIDS education and making sure that people still get the message. Because I think in 2018, when a lot of people are getting antiretrovirals, it's kind of like AIDS is over, AIDS is not over. AIDS is not over. And AIDS is not over, and there's a lot of people out there who really think they're completely safe, whatever they do, and it's not true. So that's the first thing. I'm also an AIDS widow in this country and I've been an activist for, you know, decades really. Very, very happy that I re-hooked up with ACT UP London in the last four or five years. Right. The word love helped. ACT UP for Love, Crowd Square, 2015, yeah. or whatever it was. So, so yeah, just making sure the message still gets out there. Condoms, clean needles, all that stuff. All that Learn stuff. about yeah. other ways to have sex that aren't going to get you in more trouble. Yeah. I am uh, Luciano Ragno. Luciano, um, and can you tell me why was it important for you to be part of what's happening here tonight? I 
do classes of yoga positively today, which uh, would really help me um, through my diagnosis. And uh, be here tonight, it's, um, it's just great because we are um, meeting new people, meeting new friends, help each other. My name's Mix, uh, Mix Kanamaya, and um, I've been involved in this group with ACT UP for some time now uh, as a volunteer. Okay, and why was it important for you to, to, to be part of this event tonight, Nix? Um, well, I guess uh, this is commemorating World AIDS Day, and I've kind of known, I guess, probably over a thousand people personally who have passed during the years. And um, because I used to work in, uh, in healthcare, right. so um, that's why I know quite a number who I saw in their last days. And um, I want to keep their memory, well, their memory still lives with me. Yeah. And I want to kind of pass on the fact that uh, we need to remember those people that have gone, not here to witness for themselves. So I try and be a witness for them as much as I can. People I loved, people I cared about. I'm Howard Up David, and um, yeah, I'm one of the contestants for tonight's uh, uh, latest version of HIV Blind Day. I have been to one before, uh, but I was with it, and it was in the glory, and I had a, a column in my way, so I didn't get the best view. But yeah. Uh, so you decided to take part? Oh, hell yeah. Um, yeah, uh, yeah I, I'm going to sh sh shake my ass out on that stage, uh, and, and give lots of rude crush answers to all the questions. My name's Niswana. And why are you here tonight? Um, I am here tonight because I'm an exhibitionist. I am happy to let people see a face of HIV and know that you can still have fun and do everything that you normally do or try some new things even though you have HIV. Yep. Great. My um, negative partner will eventually turn up here <laughs> and be very embarrassed about what I'm wearing but it's all in fun. So, let's have a good night. My name is Tresca. And why is it important that you are part of tonight, Tresca? Well, I think because I'm a black woman in my 40s and I got diagnosed HIV positive bloating, I've had a late diagnosis. So I'm trying to make people aware of HIV and to, just for them to get tested early to know their status. I just want to tell you why I'm here as well, because I work, I volunteer for a HIV charity Positive East Space and Spectre Green. I'm a peer mentor, so I peer mentor, I mentor people with the same diagnosis as me. I do outreach, I do testing. Um, the reason why I do that is because I was diagnosed late. I waited till I got really, really ill. I got admitted to hospital and I had an AIDS diagnosis. But three years later, I'm still here. I'm still living my life. And now I'm doing all these wonderful things. I've met so many different people. I've had lots of different, ex lovely experiences. So. I'm a grandma, I have two grand grandchildren as well. But obviously my children are a bit funny about my diagnosis. They're not really come to, I don't know if they come to terms with it, I don't actually not so. But um yes, so this is just food there's life after HIV. You live well, you live long, you have the best checks. What can I say? And you have lots of fun. Lots of fun. But yeah. sex. Yeah. <laughs> my name is me and I'm a performer. And I found out about this event, which is for a really lovely cause. It's for people who are with HIV. And I come from a very Muslim country where people are like, they, they have this idea about HIV is like a disease and it can like pass on and everything. People are struggling a lot. But here it's not like that. It's more like open and it's normal to have HIV. It's like, it's normal like a person who doesn't has HIV. Yep. So for me it's like an honour to be a part of this event and thanks to Mickey Mixture for offering me doing a small role. I'm doing something for the community and I'm very much honoured. Good work! I'm here! Hello everyone's out here! That is it! Gorgeous! Oh my god, look at you! Oh. No! no. <laughs> Alright, we should get... What's, our, what's the song that we want on for the last song before we start? Hello? The last song before we start. Oh, we kind of well, that. You gotta play something. Okay, like, <laughs> oh. Just out there. It's gotta be. Um, yeah. And it's you've got to show me love. Tonight was all about having Fun. a fucking laugh because. Living your truth. 
Exactly, exactly, and being part of a community which he says that it's not you to deal with, to deal with it's HIV, every it's everyone to deal with HIV. Yes. And all power to everyone out there on World AIDS Day dealing with HIV in the way that they need to and the way that is important to them. But we need to laugh. Yeah. We need to have fun. We need to be ridiculous. We need to be outrageous. Because otherwise you'll... We, so many of us have spent our, so much of our time crying and being sad and depressed. And actually humour and comedy and satire and fucking HIV speed dating and HIV blind date and people in chicken gimp masks <laughs> and whatever else happened tonight was really cool, whatever else happened. and uh, Sylvia Silla even had her gimps and she just, loved her she pet. loved her gimps no, she likes her whip I'm so she gay loves it was all of just there's a million ways we can deal with living with HIV and uh, I hope we showed a few of them tonight but it wasn't just HIV that it was, was on. hep as well hep yeah um, so many other things. Herpes. Yeah. Herpes. Herpes. Not forgetting super radical gonorrhea, herpes. Super chlamydia. All those things. Well, yeah. thank you, Dan, for inviting me to be with you. I've had such a good night. Such a good night. Thank you. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl But if you treat me right I will be the best girl in this whole world No, I'm not gonna fight I got my hands on your body So tell me, tell me what you want me to do I can be good or be naughty